that is what h by 4 we have found out okay similarly same same condition so if the that they should be from here uh, 2d no so height of the person height of the father is h and height of the child is h by 2 <laughs> the father is at a distance 3d from the mirror and the child is at a distance d from the mirror what should be the total length what should be the length of the mirror so that the father will see his child completely child the father is able to see the image of child completely in the mirror find the minimum length of mirror required so that father can see his child's image completely in the mirror I think uh, th this is a very straightforward. Just, just now, uh, previous class, what we did, I think the same idea shall we bring here. So I will start with this. Okay, there's a father. Mm, if you want, I'll take arrow. Okay, inverted arrow. There's the thing. So here is what a child. <coughs> H by two. Then the mirror. Then the image of that child is what we are putting it here. Okay, this is a child. This is an image of child. Now, who should see? The father should be able to see the image of child completely through this mirror. What should be the length of the mirror that is being asked? So again, again, the <laughs> what was our earlier approach like? that is emitted by the foot of the child after reflection should enter into the eye that is emitted by the head of the child after reflection should enter into the eye then only then then definitely what you can say that the child is the father is able to see the complete image of the child in the mirror so now instead of working here instead of fighting in this diagram lot of mass will take help of the image of child so these rays are what happen reflected rays so they should diverge from the image hope i think i can draw a better diagram if i'm able to draw i'll adjust things Okay, this will be the position of the child. Okay, I, I think okay, this arrow should come here. No, object distance should be quote image distance. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Ah, now, okay, this will be the mirror. I'm not bothered about child. Let me look at only the image of child. So this distance is D. So this should be equal to D. And this is 2D. Okay, let's go for the some small geometry involved with this. What are the other <coughs> set of rays I needed? These are some mm. 
is a very problematic no and i'm trying my level best to give you exact diagram but still i think uh, without geometrical instruments getting exact diagram will be very difficult huh? okay fine yeah no <coughs> okay directly let me get into the calculation part this is what theta 2 i'll write theta 1 i'll write and this angle let it be theta 2 and let this distance be y1 this will be y2 y1 plus y2 is what the needed no this is ab what is the length of the mirror length of the mirror is ab which is y1 plus y2 so what i should do now i should calculate y1 plus y2 if i can get that and and this distance this should be theta 1 and this should be theta 2 now what was our approach here now uh, this is the reflected ray we are just taking help of the reflected ray because the reflected rays uh, should diverge from the image so i am i am making it to diverge from the image now y1 y2 can we calculate with the data what we have ss yes, yes, we can we can do this is h by 2 this is what h by 2 no and this is h Uh, looking at the <coughs> similar triangle tan theta 1 okay we, we are we are we don't know about this let me call this is r this distance ab i'll call c okay we know this distance is d d and so tan theta 1 i'm asking you to look at this triangle tan theta 1 h by 4d h by 4d at the same time h by 2 by 2d so similar triangles oh it it cannot be you know okay the, the, this triangle tan theta 1 will be y r, r by d I, i'm asking you to because this is this is not arrow is not at this particular point no this cannot be similar triangle what are similar triangles this is one triangle and, and this another these are similar triangles so if you want i'll give the name p1 is a child no let me write here c1 c2 this will be c2 dash c1 dash for the f1 this will be f2 <coughs> okay c dash f1 f2 similar triangles c dash f1 f2 and c dash cb from these two triangles tan theta 1 should be equal to r by d at the same time tan theta 1 should be equal to h by 4d so r equal to h by 4 okay got it hmm? then similarly so i i got the value of r hmm? now similarly I'll, i'll go for this triangle <coughs> then this one so here i'll i'll give the name p i'll give it so similar triangle similar triangles c2 dash uh, p dash f2 and c2 dash p and d so this should be tan theta 2 should be equal to y1 by d opposite will be h2 by
h2 by 4d y1 is equal to h by 8 but we wanted y to know what to do we know from from looking at this data y2 plus r should be equal to h by 2 y2 plus r should be equal to h by 2 what is r h by 4 so therefore what is y2 is equal to h by 4 so what is the length length of the mirror length of the mirror will be y1 plus y2 y1 is h by 8 h by 4 3h by 8 Okay, this should be the length of the mirror. So this is our answer. Fine. I think uh, it's uh, something you should be very good in now what like the basic geometry, <laughs> the similar triangles all. Okay, let's see, see the ideas how we are taking help of. So what is the approach now? So you can see I have, there's another method. What is that? Here only you get all that angles here. Apply the laws of reflection then angle of incidence should be called angle of reflection here also angle of incidence is called angle of reflection so all this you'll get answer that will be more lengthy calculations this, this is what the books they have proposed most of the books 